Hello and welcome to Good Clean Gaming. I'm your host, Shilindo, and today we're playing some more Galactic Civilizations 3. And what are we going to be doing today? Well, we're going to be getting everybody set up with research. And we're making a beeline towards the victory, uh, research victory. Um, I'm going to speed it up by buying out any research centers I can. We should be able to afford a couple, a couple planets worth of purchases through here. We'll just take whatever's, you know, lower on the list. That way we don't waste any money. Oh, that one's got a lot. That one's got a ton to build. Wow. Planet size 20. Yeah, we need to be focusing on this one. That one would be uh, a, a gold mine. Uh, gold mine? Gold mine of, of uh, research. Where are you? All right, is this you? Yes, this is you. I'm staring at, the, I'm staring at you, Bomber the second. You're getting stuff built on you. And it's going to happen fast. See how quickly we can get him built up. If he gets built up completely, this should, this, uh, the, um, technology should start coming a lot faster. So that'll be, uh oh, that'll be ideal. I think that's probably our best planet. I think when we had one other 20, it was like Norway, Gladiator, or whatever. Um,. And uh, that got taken away. But this one's our best left. Our best remaining. Buy another one and turn. How's our research looking? Research is still skyrocketing. Still going up and up and up. And this is how much active research we have per turn. So this isn't, this isn't the number of technologies we have. This is the amount of research we have per turn. Which means that the higher that goes, the faster this turn these turns will go. Purchase, research, new research, drone sentry systems. By installing our point defense systems on drone platforms that orbit our ships at a distance, we add a viable extra layer of protection against missile attacks. Whoa, look at that icon. That looks different. Is that new? I don't remember that icon. Weird. That must be the new soldier icon. Or maybe it's always been there and I just haven't been paying attention. <laughs> That's always possible. Uh, quantum power, sure. Let's take quantum power. Ooh, another research planet. Welcome to the fold. You you have a job to do, and that's to get this turn timer down for us. That's your only job. Your only mission in life is to make us research lots and lots and lots faster. There's a 15 planet that needs some help, too. Interesting. Interesting. But this is our focus. We're staying focused. We're not getting distracted like we always do. Idle colony. Another research planet. I'm loving this. We're getting closer and closer and closer. I may actually uh, reduce the amount of time we're waiting by doing some tech trading with the other races. Just because I figure um, might as well. I mean, <laughs> they'll be getting more technology for me that I'll be getting out of them, but it'll work in my favor. Quantum power. By tapping into the quantum zero energy of a vacuum, our scient uh, physicists claim that we now have access to a massive source of power. It's not infinite, but boy, is there ever a lot of it. All right, neurolinking is next, whatever that will do. Another research planet. Go ahead and take that. Sweet, two turns. Uh, Bomber, where are you? There you are. I was supposed to uh, rush you. And if I did that in time, I'll rush you again. Poor 0% mor morale. That large empire penalty is just an absolute killer. Research. Neurolinking. The benefits of direct brain communicate brain to brain communication will be felt in a wide variety of fields. But considering how socially awkward many of our researchers are, we suspect they'll profit the most from living in a world without small talk. <laughs> Everything just cut down to two. Wow, it's really it's really coming down. This is down to one now. One turn. Another planet that can go research. Can't believe it's down to one turn again. It's crazy. Look at that line. That that is a trend line. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that is a trend line like you wouldn't believe. If this was happening to a company, you would you would hope that you bought the stock right about here because that's how awesome this is right now. 
Extreme colonization no longer are we limiting, limited to the low-hanging fruit of the galaxy's stock of planets. It won't be easy, uh, an easy life for anyone living on these new worlds, but it will be a life. Cool. Do we have any other one turns? We have some one turns down here. We're, we're closing in. Closing in fast. I think we bought that one early enough. It should be available to buy again at the beginning of the next turn. Just keeps going up and up and up. Bought another one. Durantium Composite. Experiments. Exper... Oh, <laughs> nice typo. Experiments, experiments have revealed that when certain materials are stacked in specific arrangements, they have a synergistic effect on the strength of their neighbors. When exposed to compressive forces, which greatly magnif magnifies their damage absorption potential, we call these new composites durantium, and they should tremendously increase the survivability of our ships. Oh, we got another one here. Nice. Keep an eye on Bomber. We're not going to get distracted. Let's check out some more graphs. Our product, our manufacturing is, is going straight downhill because we're not building anything anymore. We're just researching. Influence is about the same. Population. Military power has leveled off. Economic power has gone whoa and then stopped and go near. Another research. Armor support systems in the factory. We've been producing armor plating with a variety of force field based technologies. By adapting these fields into ship modules, we can create a hardening effect at a distance, making every ship in a fleet substantially more durable. Where are we at? 140 of 180. We're, we're close. We're closing in. Feeling like I want to go trade some technology soon. Let's at least get this bomber planet done. That's like my goal in life right now is to finish, get this planet finished building. Oh, we're down to 345 income. Um, maybe we shouldn't keep... We can't really keep purchasing anymore. Oh, well. Let's see what the next research is. Fortification. We mustn't neglect our own defenses, and with the latest generation of defense, uh, defensive fortifications, our planets and star bases will be able to put up a much tougher fight. Okay. What else we got on the list? Interstellar democracy. All right. You know what? Let's go and trade some techs real quick. Zune Federation. Believe you are the weakest. You always have been. You always will be. Except. Who else is down here? Froglon. Research. Research. Who's next? Blat. I'm just going bottom to top because I figure trade with the weakest and you'll make them slightly stronger. But they're still not going to be a threat to you because they're still the weakest. And then the strongest you don't trade with unless you absolutely have to because you don't want to make them any stronger. If you played like any other game ever, that's basically the strategy. You make the weak players stronger but not strong enough to threaten you. And then you make the strong players not any more threatening than they already are. You know, you don't help them out with anything. Make friends in low places is, is the idea. Next This is going well We might actually get To a point where we have everything Research that we need That would be sweet Chintiak Not a report A speak to Get those Trade Forgarn Commune Quit it Quit clicking things Fingers. Click the things that I think, not the things that I do. Vegemon territory. The Vegemon. Uh, I feel like every time I see this name now, I think of like Pokemon or something. Oh no, it's a Vegemon. Run. He's got me with its tendrils. No. It was very effective. Duggan. No. No Duggan. 
No one seems to want to trade. Yes, I'll take that. Trade you that. Goodbye. Goldatha Union. At the end of this, I'll have every single technology in the galaxy that has already been researched. Period. Except for maybe the higher up people that I won't trade with. Get those. Send him these. Uh oh, too many. Take that back. Yes, you're happy. I can tell. No, you're not. Actually, that was very angry. Pretty much everyone in the game, every, every other race is going to give me the angry face. Because uh, I've built star bases in all of their areas just to be able to fly further. And I don't care. <laughs> I just go in and be like, I'm, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have a star base right here in the middle of your territory. And you can't stop me. Ha, 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 ha. Okay, and so of course they're 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 they'll speak to me, they'll trade with me, but they won't like it. Kren, Kren have nothing. Uh, we're getting close to the top here. Warges, do you have something? Nope. How about the Vixian? Bloop, 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 bloop. Man, that's expensive. Uh, Nacert. Nothing from the Nacert. Venari. Anything from the Venari? No, nothing from the Venari. Er, Draziri Symbiosis. Nothing from you. Dringan. I don't want to. I don't want to trade with the Dringan or the Yor. Those guys are bad news. They're a lot higher up than all the other guys. So we're gonna we're gonna not trade with them. Because we're mean like that. Now, how close do we get? 166 of 180. So we are 14 technologies away from a um, from being able to research those final technologies. I think that's how it works. Can I actually start researching them yet? I feel like I should be allowed to research that, honestly. I don't see why I can't. Oh, well. Let's assume I'm right, which is probably not the case, but maybe, possibly, probably not, but maybe, not really. I'm going to get the plus 10% increased research on star bases, and then I'm not going to build any star bases around any of my planets, and that's going to make some of the commenters furious. It will happen. They're going to be like, but you have the 10% star base thing. Why don't you build a star base? And I'm going to be like, uh, that's going to be my response. Actually, it'll be probably more friendly, but yeah. Tariff stations. By establishing a tariff... Hold on. By establishing a tariff stations on our star bases, <laughs> we have been able to increase our cut or tr cut of trade route profits. Okay. Some of these later technology tooltips are a little less fleshed out than the earlier tooltips. Warp fill, focus... What about this one? Uh, economic focus. Let's grab that one. Oh, wait. We're supposed to be upgrading this guy, weren't we? Come on. Rush him. Rush him. Stop forgetting about this guy. He's very important. Bomber the second will be completed before the end of this game. It's going to happen. Look at that nice increase in economics there. Trade economy, an economy which prioritizes external trading, will be well suited to exploit the markets of the greater galactic con community. Or just explo exploit the greater galactic community in general. I like it. Sounds like the Iridium. Uh, who, who next and what now? Integrated research? Sure. We got a lot more income coming in per turn now. That's really great. That's why we weren't buying for Bomber, because we ran out of money. That's why we took our attention away from it. So we can stop paying attention to that now. What in the world's going on over here? Hold on. Were they always there? Did I miss something? I feel like I've missed something. I feel like I haven't been paying enough attention to the map. See, the Kren are here and here. I guess that's always been that way. 
can't remember anymore. So much going on. I definitely would. I definitely prefer the smaller maps. I think once you get to a certain size, a certain number of planets, it just becomes a little grindy. Um, I like it where each decision is meaningful and each decision, each thing you do is really important. And I feel like each extra planet is just like, eh, okay, I got an extra planet. You know, it's each extra planet means less when you have so many of them. Uh, integrated research. In the last few years, we've made great strides in our understanding of the universe and now require larger academies to facilitate the multidisciplinary studies needed to push back the veil further. The researchers are also demanding something called a faculty bar. Faculty bar. I'm actually checking for, for typos on everything now. It's, it's pretty bad. Terraforming. Okay, we'll take terraforming. feel like we're just getting really close here. Getting really close. Let that finish and then we'll see what what we're going to have to spend to buy the last the, the next uh research center. Yep, we can purchase the next one. Sweet. How much how how far away are you? Man, you still got a ways to go. That's rough. Terraforming. Terraforming is a tricky business, delicately poised between making the worlds more inhabitable for us without destroying an entire biosphere to do so. And there aren't any do-overs. But cha Okay. Research matrix, bioreplication, colonial focus. Hey, we can get colonization focus. We can get the uh, tier one, I think this is what, tier one um, extreme world focus thing. Ah, eh, whatever. Go with the research matrix. <laughs> We're not actually going to get around to building them. We just want to have them. Check it out. We got all. Th now that we got research academy, we got all those research academies we could build. We're not going to do it <laughs> because we're we're too close to the to the victory to to turn around now. It'd take forever just to build those, just to get any benefit out of them. Keep on keeping on. I don't think this plan is ever going to get finished before the end of the game. I think we're going to finish the game before Bomber is done building. Almost certain about it. This research ma matrix is taking a lot longer than I expected. I thought I picked a two turn one. Maybe I picked like a five turn one there. We're 170 of 180, so just 10 more and we are... To the point where we can research the final technologies, build the Ascension Gate, and go ahead and win this game. I have this weird urge to go around and blow up everyone else's star bases. It's like, how dare you have have star bases in my area? Just just because I put star bases in your area doesn't mean you can have them in mine. Who's this one? The Kuzin Starbase of the Orja, Orja's peoples. I wish they wouldn't have taken away my uh, my nice planet down here. I feel so bad about Norway Gladiator the Third. Actually, it should be three. I know it's I know it's three. It's 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 three, but I'll call it the Third Research Matrix. Imagine the benefit of millions of scientists working away in a city-sized research facility with none of the distractions of the outside world like weather or family or basic social contact. Yes, a few of them will probably turn into psychopaths, but we were planning to keep an eye on them anyways. Zeno Irrigation? Col colonization focus? Let's go ahead and get like, uh, pff, I don't know, Frozen World. We can, uh, we can colonize Frozen Worlds now. Or in like two turns. Bomber, can I build you? I'll build you. Go ahead and rush that one. Research still going through the roof? Pretty much, yep. Requires 9.59 to purchase a new research center on Bomber. We'll get it there eventually. Slowly, ever so incredibly creeping slowly. Hey, our approval's been going up. I didn't notice that till now. It was down to like 7%, wasn't it? We must have taken a plus 2 approval buff at some point. 
We're now so good at living on snowball worlds that many colonists go days at a time without using mittens. Something which would have been considered wildly reckless a few years ago. Um, Zeno irrigation. Habitat improvement. Majesty. Interstellar diplomacy. So that gives a diplomacy bonus of plus five. That's pretty cool. Allows the formation of assimilation treaties. I'm not sure what assimilation treaties are. It would be cool to know. Is that that's probably part of the uh, wrong button victory? Probably towards the diplomatic victory. Probably get a lot closer by doing that. Majesty, one turn remaining. As soon as this is turns over, we're going to have one research center, and then we're going to buy the next one. I feel like I should be saving up money, actually. It, just in case some emergency happens and I need to, you know, use the funds that are saved up. Kind of like, you know, Crusader Kings 2-ish kind of thing. Let's do that. Let's save up money instead. Sorry, Bomber. Maybe next time. Here's Zune. I think this this must be all of Zune. They must have only gotten two planets in the entire entire beginning of the game. No wonder they're so weak. They were they were the weak and weak ones. Then Froglon was really weak, and Belat were really weak. They're all stuck here in the bottom. They must have got just kind of pressed out of the planets by being on the edges. I'm guessing the edges, at least based on what I'm saying, the edges are a really bad place to be. There's the Thalen. I was thinking they were another in another place. Research. Majesty, the galaxy doesn't listen to our words. They want to believe, doesn't just listen to our words, they want to believe them. So sterling is our reputation that simple gestures by our diplomats can adjust the fate of whole worlds. The pen hasn't just beat the sword, it's humiliated it. I like it. Uh, colonization, lossless farming, and zeno irrigation, bio, replication. Yeah, bio replication. Why not? I think we're probably all maxed out on all of our worlds by now. Our, our max population is much lower thanks to the low approval, but, you know, it happens. Wish I had more uh, approval specializations. Or I wish, actually, I wish approval was balanced around a huge map when you're on a huge map. We're getting close here, right? 173. So after this turn, we should be six technologies from being able to research the final technologies. That would be awesome. Come on, come on, come on. Did I leave a transport in the middle of nowhere? I got like 0.5 population. That's probably like half a billion population just kind of sitting in space for the past 100 years. Actually, it's weeks. Past 100 weeks. Let's take them home. They're like, uh... I feel bad for them now. <laughs> Bioreplication. It turns out that once we took all of the fun parts out of reproduction, we could dramatically increase our growth rates. Sure, bioreplication might be ushering us into a nightmarish world of conformism and fewer available parking spaces, but we're sure we'll manage somehow. Okay, habitat improvement. Going to take that one. Let's find the home of this transport, shall we? Let's take them, take them to Serenity now, to the capital, capital planet. They'll be happy there. Or not? They're probably they're probably capped on population, so there's probably no more room for them. But it's okay. They gotta go somewhere. Research, habitat improvement. Our ability to manipulate the biosphere has improved to the point where we can treat entire continents as a canvas. Will we paint a portrait of a thriving and prosperous civilization, or the equivalent of writing our names in the snow in urine? Nice. Oh, that looks cool. And they move fast, so they should be there in no time. One more week in space and you're home. Congratulations on being home. Do we leave anybody else in space? Anyone else lost in space? That was a TV show at one point. 
No one knows that anymore. That's like 300 years old. I'm just kidding. It's not that old. It's almost that old. It's not that old. Lost scout ship. Hey, th seriously, there's still an anomaly somewhere on the map? That's amazing. I am shocked. That there is still... There was still... In, in turn 355, with 33 races on the map, somebody hadn't scouted an anomaly. That is kind of weird. Uh... Turns are taking forever. And, of course, the someone that didn't scout his anomaly is me. Because it was in the middle of my area. How embarrassing. Research. Zeno Irrigation. There are a number of surprising challenges when irrigating an, an alien planet related to the unique gravity, soil, and atmosphere we might find there. Also, the water is often hiding. Alright, we're getting really close. I think we're going to make it in the next episode. So please feel free to join me in the next episode. If you're hearing my voice, that means you didn't mean sitting through that you didn't uh, mind sitting through this episode. And because of that, you will know that the next episode is probably the the last episode or it might be the last episode. And no one else knows that. So it's a super secret. Let's keep it between us. Forget all those people that that stopped early. Just forget them. They they're in the past, literally. They stopped at like minute 12 and they're gone. They'll come back, but they just won't know what we know between us. You and me, friends, pals, buddies. Alright. Feel free to click the subscribe button if you're interested in seeing more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching, and remember, da da da, da keep it clean.